here we go. One, two, three. Okay, I, I, think. Oh, you th I think. Oh, and that comes up in such slow network. Well, do you think it'll still work? I mean, what are we doing now, John? Hi, everybody. This has been like 30 minutes trying to get back on our live show. No, it hasn't been 30 minutes. Yes, it has. It's like 10 after 6, 5 after 6. Well, yeah, but you had to count for all the crashing. Yeah. Well, anyways, tell everybody why we're here. Let's we're, go for we've it. We've got an acrylic painting to do today, and uh, it's going to be talk about glass jars and how to, how to paint glass, lots of different ways to do it. We're going to show you a different way. And someone at, 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 at our live uh, studio audience said so. Track, you know, we'll have the opportunity to win the painting. Maybe. And, uh, maybe, as, assuming this show goes through. Now, there's a ch chance that we just will lose connection and won't go through, but hopefully it does. And uh, John's, John's really hoping everything's working. It, uh, we've had to restart the modems, all kinds of crazy stuff. But you know what? That, we live in a computer age, and you've got to imagine that we're broadcasting all over the world. That's extraordinary, isn't it? That, you know, that, and, Ooh, and shaking live. Shaking the world. Shaking the world on them. Yeah, so, I mean, here's the thing. It's just amazing any of this stuff works. I remember that, you know, phoning long distance across town was a big deal. So we're going to be using, um, John, if you want to scoot down here. I'll oh, just, wait, wait one second. I'm not ready to scoot down. John, all right. Well, all right. So here's the thing. So <laughs> if you've hung in there with us, we appreciate it very much. John's going to have, have things showing in there. They haven't shown in there before, and I don't know why they are. John's just playing with the cameras a little bit here. And shaking sure your world. Everything's getting adjusted, but we're, we're trying here, you guys, and that's okay. fun. Fun all right. not pre-recorded, so we're good? <laughs> all this, right. is, this is what live TV is all about, people. Yeah, well, that's the fun part. You get to be part of this, okay? So that's the fun thing. So we're going we're gonna to come down. We're using real canvas, 6x8 canvas. This is just painted kind of a light brown. Dark brown background might have been better, but I'll tell you why we wanted the light one in a minute. You might have thought we would have started with dark, but we're starting with sort of this, which is just, you know, burn umber and white, okay, in case you're a little confused. These are the canvas sheets that we use all the time for those six by eights, but you could do this bigger. Um, uh, the, basically, real quick, you may notice that we're, we're doing um, this little glass jar. I'll just show it to you right here. We're going to do this glass jar and flower, and I have, um, uh, John has very kindly uh, already put it on the canvas for me, but if you aren't sure how to do that, if you're new to acrylics, what you want to buy is Sorel transfer paper. And what you do is you lay it the correct side, the down. Correct side down, and then you put your whatever it is that you're, you're doing over it, right? You know, whatever it is. And a good idea to tape it down. Let me just see if I have a pen somewhere. Here, here. Be use, a, use a pen so you know where you've been. But basically you could do something like this and um, see how it just shows up here. So that's, that's one of the ways. Now, what if you didn't have this? What if you didn't have this nifty paper? You can literally just rub soft chalk on the back of the paper that you're using as a to transfer and do the same thing. Soft chalk will work the same way. Well, let me just show you that real quick. I think that's important um, to, to, for you to know. You can take, because a lot of people, and if, if the transfer, sometimes the transfer paper doesn't like it if it's a slick surface or if you've done, you know, so if you do like something like this chalk here, like that. Let me yeah, we have found if we use the um, the purple in it. Yeah. For an underpainting, sometimes it won't yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah, like to for it. instance, if I do this, look here. See how that? See that's the blue chalk. So you don't have to have transfer paper. In fact, you could just make your own, just using chalk. Okay, kind of soft chalk. If you didn't want to mess up your your reference on the back, does that make sense? So that's something we're going to try and show you a few new tips all the time. But just remind you that. And I have had, I have really had cases where there maybe the paint was too thick or something. I was trying to transfer something onto my canvas, and chalk was the only thing that worked. But the Sorel transfer paper works most of the time. I'd say 90% of the time at 90, least. It, it works. Now, if you're uh, part of our uh, either junior or senior academy or basic supporter, you'll have a, a, a it'll, this will be available in the next couple of days, will be our a graft um image of what we're painting, okay? And the question, now the question is, what are, what are the colors? Someone said that, you know, wrote the other day, said, I'm from India, I, don't, I can't get this Salvador paint set. Um, what are your colors? Well, basically, we've got some, we're, we've got some yellows, like a cad yellow medium, kind of a light yellow, kind of an Indian yellow, yellow oxide, and a couple, you know, you know a, a, an orange red, um, you know, a regular, a red, uh, kind of a light orange, a, a, 
Is that one a magenta? Yeah, that's got a, and then this is a, like a magenta, and this is a purple, uh, brown, black, uh, burnt sienna. This is ultramarine blue and some sort of turquoise blue. Okay, kind of a light turquoise blue color. So those are the colors that we've got going. Um, um, right? And um, uh, as you can see, you know, I don't need all this information. I don't need all the little petals because I need to put my, my table in. But this is how you would transfer it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take some, um, some brown and black paint, mix it together, okay? And a little bit of blue. All right, and I want to just come up here like this and uh, just kind of going in this direction. I want to kind of paint around my flower here. I want this dark paint. All right, everybody's with me on there. And can we answer some questions, John, while we're doing this? I want to shout out to our moderators that hung with us. We started out with 300 people at 530. I mean, how many people have abandoned us? Yeah, we're at 240. They're finding us again. You found us, so we're, after, we're sorry. That, after a few rooms set up and all kinds of stuff, it's, it's still not working right, I, and I don't know why, because we tested the Internet, and it's uploading at 400 megabits, and right now it says it's only doing eight. Yeah. Which is too slow to be doing what we're doing, but we're going to go for it. Yeah. We're just if you watch it 360p, that's going to change your player settings down in the little gear, in the little player. If you can get it down there, go to 360, and the quality is good enough to tell what we're doing. Yeah, that should be pretty good, right? And it probably so, will play better after it's been up there and recorded. So I'm going to just change brushes. I've got some titanium white, and I'm just going to paint my flower white as long as we're in here, right? Painting, painting things. I'll paint this one white because that has to dry. And the reason you're painting it white is? Well, it's going to be a yellow flower, and yellow just paints nicely over white. It doesn't paint well over other colors. It's just that it doesn't, uh, you need, you're going to have something yellow or even a bright red. You want to start with a white, uh, you know, white uh, underpainting on it. So here we go. Here's our I'm glad it's working sunflower. for you guys. Great. Hey, turkey's in the house. Hello to turkey. Hi, turkey. I like having turkey in the house. Yeah. 2.15 a.m. And she comes out to watch us. We appreciate that very much. Okay, so here's I'm sure our. We have an Aussie out there it's on the other side. Yeah. In the morning for them. They're already having breakfast. Wow. I wonder if they're having, for bre I wonder if they're having my waffles for breakfast. Mm. They should. All right, so here's our. Here's here's sort of the, the flower, and then I'll put a little bit of light yellow with this for the inside, so I know it's slightly different. Here you go, like that. Just tint that white with a little yellow. Okay. So there's there's my flower. So, and I've got this dark background. It's kind of pretty. It's not white flower. It's kind of pretty, actually. Yeah, it really is. It really is. I thought, I just, you know, we, I really search high and low for these, um, high and low for these pictures. All right, so I'm going to take some dark brown here, and I'm going to come around the lid of my um, glass jar. And this is the cork. So that, do you remember Ferdinand and the cork tree? Do you remember that Walt Disney movie? Do you remember that, John? Uh, Ferdinand the bull, and he didn't want to be. He wanted to sit under the cork tree and smell his fl smell the flowers. He didn't want to be in the nope. bull ring. Sorry, it was a Walt Disney. I mean, surely, how could you not know that? Wow. I don't know. He's it? he's just pit pleading the fifth on that, you guys. He doesn't want to yeah. put a little bit of orange red on the top of this cork. A little orange in it. My Salvador orange. paint set has arrived in South New South Wales, Australia. No kidding. I knew Australia was in the house. No South Wales one. Well, I so wanted to see Australia this year. You so guys, I you feel just, like eggs. I, I hate to bring this up again, but I so wanted to see what? Australia this year. Oh, you brought I'm it up. So, so disappointed that we didn't get to see it. I'm going to put a little ultramarine blue here with this in this part of the bottle right here, in this, the neck part of it right up here. It's, I'm just sort of putting the darker colors in first. Dark to light with acrylics. Yeah. And um, let's see, and then there was just something kind of back in here in the background that's doing that. But all right, so we did that. All right, so there's that. Now, the there's some dark right down here in the front of this. I've got sort of a burnt umber on the, on the base of it, and then there's that. Now, um, 
this is going to be a light wooden floor, but I had to have the dark in there first for all the little cracks. So that's why we had to paint it dark first. Does that make sense to you guys? It didn't make sense to me. And um, the background in the photo, the background is just sort of this. There's some flowers and greenery and so forth. And um, and I thought about that because sometimes I always tell you, you don't have to do exactly what the in the photo. It's because the, you know, you're not. It's not like a truth or consequences if you don't put everything in the photo that somehow someone will be mad at you. So, but, so sometimes you can say, what could I not add to this or what could I add and or not have, you know? What could be back here? Well, I know I've got a yellow flower. So let's look at the, um, let's look at our color wheel. What's opposite yellow on the color wheel? I see blue. Oh, no. I, well, what yellow are you going with? I'm going to go... Let's see. It should be. Here's my yellow. It should be. Let's see. Yellow. Well, I see. I see how they're doing it this way. Yellow and and purple are complements. Okay. So this sort of it's violet over here. So yellow and violet, kind of a. So your yellow tones are going to be in your purples. Oh, see, they have a violet versus and a, and yeah. a red violet. Yeah. yeah. So so I think maybe what I'll do is I'll do that. I'll take a little bit of. A magenta color here, right? And I might come in the back of this and um, just try some different. It doesn't. Let's take a little bit of white with this. I think I want a little bit of um, of this magenta color back here. And um, just because it, it, uh, I think it would look pretty with my yellow flower for no other reason than that. That's a good reason, don't you think? It's a good reason as any, yeah. Um, John, Christine wants to know, John, how would I contact you? Contact us on any of the websites. All right, so I've got a little, of, and I'll put some other colors with that later, but I think that's a, I'll just bring that down into our background and just not talk about it, right? So I've got a little purple back there. That's sort of pretty, yeah? And if I'm going to have that, let's put a little bit of this purple on the lid here, too, because now we've got something, remember, um, Glass reflects, yes and yes. So let's let's just do a little bit of the purple in there too, just a bit. And I think I want a little bit of white here, just on the side here, with just a tint of the purple on both sides of the this, right? With me. Farah wants there. to know what colors would you use to paint the shadows for a white flowers? For what? White flowers. You want to go uh, probably either light blue or light purple. You know, probably one one of those. Okay, so that's that that's percolating. But everybody's good with that, yeah. Percolating beautifully. And uh, you know, we've got we've got some of that up here, and we'll go back and put some other colors. Now, most people think that what you do is you just draw the jar white. Now, I want to stop and show you something because there's so many different ways to paint glass, depending on the light that's hitting it. So remember, glass is clear, so it's going to reflect the colors behind it. Does that make sense? So there's no one right or wrong way to paint glass. There's some very simple ways, and sometimes in our academy and on YouTube, we've got some very simple and complicated ways to paint glass. One of the most simple lessons we have on, on YouTube is this one, this little glass jar with the tulips, you see? And you see how there's a little bit of white on it, it's reflecting the, the background, all right? And we, we're now saying that's glass. That's a YouTube um, lesson. Here's another one in, on YouTube. Um, again, glass jar, but you can see the background. Do you see that? And you see some of the ground. You see that behind it. Uh, this pansies. Another one of our YouTube lessons. In our academy, you might want to start backing out for this, John. In our academy, one of the, here's a glass jar that was originally inspired by one of our artists from the 18, well, this was really 1700s. And um, again, it's painted slightly different. You don't see little tiny bits of white, but you don't see it outlined. Yes and yes. Conversely, if you keep backing out here, right? This is another one of our academy lessons, and you see that the glass jars picked up all the bits of green reflection in it. You see the raspberries? It's different, yes. And then finally, if you back out pretty far, this one is um, this is another this is a, a, a beautiful vase. And you see it's got this blue green velvet cloth behind it and you can see how there's really no white outline on the jar yes and yes okay you see so again it depends what's behind 
the glass of how you're going to do it. Now, if you want to do something very simple, we had an academy lesson, a beginner, like a one cookie, with some roses and a very simple glass jar that's outlined with a little bit of white and it's got some colors on it. That's probably the simplest way you can do it. So, and it still works. You still see that's a glass jar. So lots of different ways to paint glass. Just think about it when you're looking at it. Don't t just don't take it for granted. This is how it's got to be. All right. So uh, that being said, I've let that dry a little bit. I'm going to take. I want to go. I want some lines going this way. Does this make sense? In my reference photo. Um, let me just turn this up here. Okay. In my reference photo, I'm going to just going to put some lines coming up this way. For my floor, okay? All right, everybody's with me on that, right? Kind of at an angle. Now I want a gray color, so I'm going to start with ultramarine blue and white, and put a little black with it, and a little bit more blue. Let's try some turquoise blue in that, more white, titanium white. And I've got this kind of blue gray color, yeah? And now I've got the paint on the brush, see that? And I'm going to wipe it all off, see that? Like magic, right? I feel like a magician when I do this. And I want to come over here, and I'm sort of holding the brush very flat and sort of dragging it like this over that. Paint, wipe it off. I'm going to drag in the brush a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to come. We have Ecuador in the house. Hello, Francis. Hi, Francis. Francis. Until she goes to Ohio. Yeah, she's moving to Ohio, right? So I'm going to just say that behind my glass, there's some of this color, too. I'll just put a little bit of this in here, too. Just to have it there. What are you working with it? It's got to, it's got to pick up some of this color. You, see, you can see that, right? And um, here we go with me. And I'm just using the flat of my brush. Uh, not, the, not the edge, just the flat, like, like that, see? People always want to know, how are you doing your brush? Well, that's how we're doing it. A nice big crack here. You're laying it down pretty flat. Laying it down very, very flat. Just barely touching the color. Okay? And I'm just getting a little bit more. And then it's interesting because the reflections are kind of going up and down in the glass. Okay? And then I've got some reflections in gray coming around this way. Here at the bottom. Already it's looking more glass like, yes and yes. And um, so we're just going to take a little of this gray paint and do the sides on this side, okay? All right, and so you can kind of see through that, and let's, let's just cover the bottom with a little bit of, just a little bit like that. So it's not quite so, you know what I mean, it's not standing out so much. Okay, so what do we know for sure? We know that... Um, that this is sort of old old wood. So let's let's try some orange and cad red medium and white. Uh, that was cad orange, burnt sienna and white and a little purple. A little bit of purple. All right, that's kind of a weird color, isn't it? All right, going to wipe all that off. Now, this is old wood. So it's um, not just one color, yes and yes. This is the next layer on top of that. See how I'm doing that? Oh, you're going, that's a neat trick, yes and yes. All puzzle pieces have been distributed. So, Miss Sheila Harvey, it has gone to your email that you gave me. I didn't get a bounce back. Look in your spam folder. Yeah, the community puzzle projects are continuing well on. Way, the um, Bacharach Village has all pieces have been sent out. I have not got everybody checked in yet, so I know some people are not paying attention to what's going on. And the ALBA certificates are available on the website for those that participated. It's a PDF download. All right, you see how the, the wood's getting older? Yes, older? It's looking great. Yeah, isn't that kind of fun? I don't know isn't how you it, do that. Isn't that fun? And then on this side, we're going to do the kind of the orange, kind of this gray-orange color. 
this side of our jar, okay? Yes and yes. And we did a little bit of this color in here, a little bit of this up and down like this. Yes and yes. All about layers. Yeah, so that to me is kind of, I think that's really fun. Now we can take a little bit of time here. Thank you guys for hanging in there with us. You know, I get, it's very frustrating if, and, and you all know how that works, right? It's very, very frustrating to um, um, that the computer worked five minutes ago. This is, the, you know, John never has that happen to him, so he's always shocked when it does. They never, the computer never dares act up for him. Let's make these cracks a little bit. Kenny would like to know, Ginger, do you change brushes to an older one when you go scrub? No. The I'm socks holder in me would like her to, but she yeah. won't. No, probably <laughs> Are not. Are you kidding? Brushes in hand, ready to scrub. And then just there you go. Probably should though. Fine. Good good point, you know. Wouldn't wouldn't be wrong. How's that? Now let's And get this a is a dry brushing technique. Yeah, it's a dry brushing technique, absolutely. Now let's get a little light on here. Take a little bit of the zinc white, okay? And let's start pulling some of these lighter colors here. Just a little bit. Whoops. There we go. So you can kind of see, I think I want a little gold now. Let's do a little gold orange color. A little bit of purple in it. Gray it out. Okay, I think I want a little bit more of this lighter orange color on my wood now. Kind of coming across here like that. If you have not received your puzzle piece, please write to me directly on the uh, from the website contact us form, and I'll try to reply to that directly instead. Okay, so we've got a table in here. We've got the you know I think which looks pretty pretty good, right? And uh, the table's looking great. Yeah, it's an interesting it's an interesting technique, isn't it? I mean, just um, let's take a little bit of light here now here at the bottom. So a little bit of white. Make sure your brush is nice and skinny. And let's find a couple places where we can have. It's not that you don't have white, because you do. And here's the, the liquids all the way up here. And this curve has to match these, at the top and bottom, OK? Here's that. And I want a little bit of ye light yellow in that. So. And then let's take a little orange. Yeah, if you do a search for Ginger Cook Live, all one word, you should be able to find all our emails. It's in there somewhere. Okay, so a little bit of orange there. And, um, orange up here and then up in here there was just in our cork there was some um, kind of a little burnt sienna in that light orange color there was just a little bit in this cork here this side of the cork was a bit lighter than the, than the right side okay so one might guess that the light's coming from the left side yeah so then, there, then you got to, and it, and it, it, you got to think about those things when you're painting stuff. Because remember, we've got this. Remember, we had that light purple there, and here's a little bit of zinc white that's going on top of that. See, here's this little bit of light here that we've got on our bottle. See, so putting another little bit of light here, another little. I think I want that this kind of this yellow oxide color. Uh, whatever's in the bottle, it's um. A little yellow oxide, burnt sienna, and zinc white. Okay, so whatever's in here is translucent enough to kind of see through here. Maybe. It must be love potion number nine. Yeah. 
that's it. Love potion number nine. I love that, John. It might be. Here's a little bit of burnt sienna right in this part right up here. A little bit of yellow, I think. Lots of colors in this one. This is fun to me. It's like doing a puzzle, but you make your own pieces. You know, you just it's very relaxing. You know, when you take when you try to do an original piece, this is what happens to people. When you try to do an original piece, what happens often saying all the time, but often. What happens often is that, is that um, you start really judging whether it was a good piece or it was an idea. There's a, lots of judgment going on. But when you're doing something like this where it's just a, it's a really kind of just, it's a nice lesson, we're, we're showing you how to do it, um, then you could, it's a little more relaxing. Uh, because you can then say, well, this was a good idea. I don't like how she did that, or I think that was a good idea. Um, you can do those kinds of things. It can be very um, cathartic. Does that make sense? All right, so I want this side to be a bit lighter than that side. A little bit of zinc white on here. Zinc white is a very transparent white is why we're using it. Does that make sense? And uh, let's take a little bit of burnt, burnt umber, I think, in blue. Those two colors together. And I want some of that dark in this bottle, too, coming down here like that. A little bit of that burnt umber color. Because I'm... Okay, very good. You don't have to have all the colors in the bottle to make this work. Now, the, um, what was fun about this... Um, this flower in the picture was that they had all these little funny little petals. They had, um, they were like these petals, not a lot like, there were these petals that were um, kind of behind it. So that's what this orange is. It's saying that there's a petal that's kind of maybe peeking through. So I'm going to put some orange down here. And, um, There was like a petal, with a, kind of a distorted petal here, like that. Some pe funny little petals right behind the... Um, the discount code for the uh, All Bus stuff is still available until Sunday night. Oh so, yeah, you guys. If you haven't gotten that, you if you, you want yeah. to take advantage of that, save that ten percent. Absolutely. So that's all the all, but that's uh, if you go to any if you go to the T. Oh, I bet it can't. But if you go to our store, the T-shirts, which it's under the YouTube listings. I guess I should put that somewhere else too. Well, the quarantine quickie store is down there. I think you can find the other one from there. I'll try to remember to put that in there. The link to it. These are some petals that were lying on the on the table. Isn't it interesting how the reflections can be so effective? Susan wants to know, why is it when I try a ginger tutorial, it is nothing but a mess to me? Are you drying in between? Well, are you? Uh, but I, well, I am. I, I'm waiting for um, stuff to... Um, yeah, if you you know, I'm, dry, I'm going from one to the other, waiting for stuff to dry, for sure, right? So... Uh, let's take a little blue with that white. And uh, a lot of times, you know, I, you know, I always ask people, how much uh, paint are you putting on the brush? Um, are you are you wiping the brush off? If you watch me, you'll see I wipe the brush brush off a lot. Um, that's something you'll see me do quite a bit. Okay. 
and uh, uh, my brush, if you've got, I've got these nice angle brushes, and, and I can get a really sharp edge like this, um, see, get really sharp edges on these things. And uh, let's see, what else would I say that would be would be helpful? Um, got some Discount code here. is ALBA 10 OFF, the number 10 and OFF. ALBA 10 OFF. Okay, and here's our outside of this bottle right there, okay? So there's uh, part of this. Now I have to, might want to dry this a little more, but I think I'm pretty good here. So I'm going to go through some of my light stuff here. And um, PJ has a question for you. Ginger, my oceans are looking good, but my skies look like paint by numbers. What am I doing wrong? Um, what you need to do is work on the clouds. We got a lot of videos on landscape, some of our landscape videos, and look at our cloud videos. We got a ton of videos on clouds, Junior and learn clouds. how to do clouds because that's that's key, man. You got to be able to do those clouds. Now, as you recall, I told you that yellow only paints over white. Did you hear me say that right? All the time. But I have to tell you that the Salvador paints painting right over the. Look at this. It's doing pretty well, isn't it? It's pretty amazing how you put this thing together so quickly. You still have a flower in the back, though. Well, I still have the flower in the back to yeah. do, and I'm still getting a few of these. Um, um, Okay, so I've got a little bit of this dark coming through here on my vase, right up and through here, right up in here like this. It's dark and comes down like that. Which is, look at how, doesn't that bottle just glow now? Isn't that cool? And then what I've noticed is, you know, the, what, there's like, for instance, under here, if I darken the, um, like put a little shadow right under the, um, this leaf here, this little petal, See? Have them lift up a little bit. Kind of lifts up a little bit. Which is kind of, and it really gives a nice 3D effect, doesn't it, when you do that? So people don't, don't appreciate enough what, what shadows do. You know? There, see? Like got to this. say, the shadow knows. And, um, and it's, again, uh, would it have been easier to have, um, see, this is going up this way, and then it comes out wide like that, and then here's the the petals this way, kind of like a, this edge is orange, and that part's very bright yellow. Now, remember, if you want an opportunity to win this particular painting, you need to enter... And the moderator put up the link periodically. Yeah, get, enter it. This will be fun, you guys. You'll have fun. Enter it. And we'll also be giving away yet another Salvador paint kit. Oh, are we doing that again? One more, at least. And they're, get, you know, uh, uh, they're getting them right away. We've been getting reports. When somebody's winning these, they're getting them right away. Yeah, they seem to be getting quicker than when we order them from Amazon ourselves. Yeah, they're quicker than Amazon <laughs> for sure, right? Okay, so there's our, wow, how fun is this, you guys? Do you love it? I love it. It's not even, you know, I'm giving it away, but I love it. I think it's really, I think it's really pretty. Here's another little one that came up here, a little petal that came up this way. All right, let's get to the flower. Yes and yes? Yes and sir, yes, absolutely. Let's let's get to that flower. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, we need some nice yellow here. That's a nice bright yellow, isn't it? That's Where great can yellow. that go? Could go over here too. Definitely could go over here. There is currently a poster available for the Alba puzzle. All the puzzles will have posters available. It's an 18 by 24, I believe. And you can get a you can get a tote and a um. A tote, coffee mug, T-shirts, poster. Yeah, it's really neat, and, and, and everybody that participated's name is on the t-shirt, or the puzzles, or the totes, and your name is on the certificate. Okay. And Candy ordered her new Salvador set through Amazon on Thursday and got it on Monday. That was quicker wow. than Wow, Amazon's getting a little quicker, you guys, don't you think? Amazon's, uh, it feels like they're... When I click the link for the giveaway, I'm getting an error. Well, I'll try somebody else's link because we've got 300 entries in, so it's working for 300 people. It might have been a boo-boo when they pasted it in there. Moderators will paste another one in there. Give it a shot again. Okay, so this, this part of the, the sunflower is a little bit more orange, and then I've got kind of a deep red here at the bottom of it. A little bit of yellow in it. That's all right, Leroy. You can live in Melbourne. We will ship it to you. Yeah, the, we, all you, the you, certificates are only available on the website. I am not going to be emailing those personally. Come on, you guys. This is kind of our little free project. <laughs> We're not emailing out hundreds of certificates. But you can get them on the website and print them yourself. And even if you didn't participate, I guess you could give yourself a certificate. I don't know why you'd want to. But you could, technically, I suppose. Uh, Francis says, will the t-shirts for the puzzle be available in July? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to take them down. Yeah, you just can have a discount now. If You you know, we, yeah. we figured out how to introduced. do a discount is what we did, right? We're getting smarter in our, in our spare we, time. We could, couldn't figure out how to do that. We would give you, you know, there was no way to, for us to figure out how to do that before. Couldn't figure out how they were doing the discounts. You know, but we figured it out, so, um, let's see, I want something a little darker right here, down here in the center of our flower right here, and let's tap in, let's tap in some colors in this. And Barb says she printed hers out, and it looks great. Does I think it? they look marvelous. I did it on matte paper, one on matte paper, you know, professional matte paper, and it is gorgeous on matte paper. I don't want just a circular line here. I want it deep, dark in the center, but I don't want to, you know what I mean? I don't want like a round line. So I just tap this in, right, like that. And, uh, So now I am going to have to dry it, okay? No. no. How is that possible? I'm going to have to dry something here, kid. Okay. Well, I got nothing, you know, because we had a crash. So I just, I just well, talked just to, talk to people. Just, just give me a few minutes. People. Just tell people how about the puzzle project. And yeah. Some people may not know. So yeah. Far. I got things to do. Okay, we've muted the boss while she's gone. John, can you check my entry? Because the form kept coming back to me. All right, Dorsey will take a look at that. Are you, John, or the items we ordered got a cup from coming from California? I don't know. We don't actually do the orderings of the different products, and they have um, distributors, you know, warehouses all over the place. They even have them over in Europe, so people that in the European market get their stuff from their side of the world. And let me check on Dorothy. You so, Dorothy, you're me, saying that you sent your... You want to put me back? I already did. Can okay. you check my entry to the drawing because the forum kept coming back? Try it one more time, Dorothy. I, I won't hold that against you. People are thinking that the glass jar looks great. Thank you. All right, so let's get this... Shirley says, I'd love to participate in the chat, but I sure can't keep up. Me neither. 
Well, you know what? Well, we you, talk and, you know, when group. you participate in the chat, what happens is you lose the lesson. Oh, well, no, <laughs> I come back for the replay and watch the lesson. Oh, is that what you do? That's what okay. I do. All right. I so come you, to socialize and then I'll watch the lesson. Okay. Well, all right. You, you know, that's fine too. All right. You lose that. So I want to. And don't you get a double watch if I do that? Yes, mm -hmm. we do. And we appreciate it when you do that. All right. So I'm just going to kind of fix that. Um, this needed to. Come this way. There we go. That that little pedal needed to come out, and um, a little bit of purple here and white, and a little bit of magenta here. I wanted to. I can kind of because I dried this. Now I can kind of come in with some of the purple, and um, uh, carve out my my petals a little more than they were. in a couple places. John, is your photograph up for June? Oh, no, it's not. Thank you, though. I'm debating between two. And, you know, I'd have to talk to the stuffy staff and see what they want to do. Your photo isn't up? No. Well, we were debating. Okay. And it got pretty heated last night. So okay. I said, we need to sleep on it one more time. I'll have that up shortly, though. All right, so let's, let's put... Um, Let's get some white. What's the, Jin Jin wants to know what the puzzle pieces are about. If you go to the communitypuzzleproject.com, what I do is I take an old, I take a photograph, I take a painting, and I cut it up into pieces, and I give everybody that's, every, how many pieces, like the one we're doing right now has 84 pieces. And I say to 84 people, paint this part of the puzzle for me. So then everybody gives me their puzzle piece back, and I put them back together, and we see what we come up with. The Alba group has finished theirs, and their finished puzzle is up on the website. And how I put it together, so all the videos on how I put it together is up there. So communitypuzzleproject.com if you want to learn more, and you can participate. But be willing to wait, because I've got currently 500 people that are wanting to play, when we thought we'd be lucky if we get 35. Yeah. Ginger, now that you say wipe your brush a lot, I'm noticing that. Yes. You're, you're noticing? My constant, yeah. and, I'm, and I'm not only wiping it, but I'm reshaping it. She squeezes it to get the... the, I'm, the I'm reshaping, I'm putting it to get the shape back. So it's not just that I'm wiping my brush a lot, it's that I'm resh reshaping it too. So... Happy Homestead? I don't know who you are with that name. I don't have a Happy Homestead that I mailed to. On this particular, um, uh, Sher Sherry wants to know the size does a person paint their puzzle piece on? I want them to paint it on an 8x10 canvas but mask it out for a 6x8 and do a bleed. And I love to say that because it drives people nuts. There's a video that explains it on the website. Okay, so we're going over the petals again. And i got to say, most people are doing it that way, the ones I've gotten back so far. And there's a new form to use. I can, I can take up to 100 megabyte files. I want the biggest thing you can send me. Dorothy wants to know if she made it in this time. Dorothy, we'll take a quick peek. All right. Now look at look at that glass jar. How it just um, I think glows. It really looks very translucent, doesn't it? Just going to darken it back up in here like that a little bit, and then put a little bit of white with that magenta, so it's just not all there. Something like that. Yes, Dorothy, you have made it. You've done good. Now she just has to find her email, right? All 
All right, so we've got. Looks like you're getting pretty close to done, guys. So if you want to ha have a chance at owning this one of a kind, never to be repeated by the queen again. Not going to make it bigger for the academy. <laughs> Enjoy Fun it. Of you to ask. <laughs> Don't even go there. We have so many we've already got to do. So if you're enjoying this, you know. which we hope you are, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please take a moment and subscribe to our lovely channel. It doesn't take anything to do it, and it doesn't cost you a dime. And it's nice. YouTube likes to know who's watching who, kind of like Big Brother. And if you're watching us, they'll show you more of our stuff and show other people more of our stuff. Does that make sense? We'd love to see 100,000 this year. Oh, Janie, not yet. I was getting ready to, but I got busy. But that is on my list. And we're going to do new hours. The boss and I have been talking. We yeah. had a big staff meeting in the pool today. We did. We had a big staff meeting and decided that what, what the world needed now was John, was to learn John and Ginger <laughs> to at least take one day a week for ourselves. You know what I mean? That just have one day where we take off. And it's just, we don't do paintings, we don't do anything. We work on stuff that we want to work on at home, just like everybody else does. So we've decided to do that, reallocate time for stuff. Now, let's see. I want this to be white. Okay, so you see, I'm, I'm, I don't rinse the brush. I just wipe it off. See that? Now, what's interesting to me is that the, that, the, that the daisy petals had little white tips on them, like that. I mean, I, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I wonder why they do that. I don't know. Where they, maybe they separate it from the flower. Could be. But um, you can see where we've got these fun little... And I want something pretty bright here. And in here, like that. And um, I'm liking our glass jar, got to tell you. Uh, there was another... I think that's a very good glass jar. There's a little pe petal right there that went somewhere. And what that does is it really, if you start putting the shadows, this is the secret to doing stuff like that, is that you put a petal like this, then you put a shadow underneath it, see, like that. It just comes alive. Yeah, like that. Make sure that you have your, this one's got a little shadow going this way, kind of off of it, see, like that. So now it looks like it's sticking up. Chris has a question for you. Uh-huh. Would it be too much contrast to do a turquoise-like background and purple center of flower? I don't know. Try it. I have no turquoise idea. Turquoise. I'd have to really purple. think about that. Yeah, to, I have to be honest, I'm not being flippant. I just don't know. I would have to throw that in the computer and play with it. I, I would put that in the computer and see what I liked about it. I I like this because there's not that much thinning in Bob Baba Louie. We're just. <laughs> See, there's some, some things that, uh, you know, we'll take a picture of throwing the computer and play with it in there. She'll do a pack on her own stuff. Uh, Sherry, uh, she's asking what color should you use for the underpainting of the puzzle piece. Look at what you have, you know, what piece you have, and it really doesn't matter. Um, I believe it was a light one. It wasn't real dark, the one that we used, that, from what I can tell from the painting. So, just look at your piece, look at the color under the color, you'll be fine. I want you to notice that where the dark, where the paint's going on here too, where the dark is. See, I'm coming around here on the bottom and starting to add the dark, the darks, just the dark side of my, my, um... Ginger John, when you take the day off, don't go to the computer. Oh, that's my day off, buddy. But yeah. doing my things. Yeah, that's John's day off is the computer. Well. You know, but we're just doing something, you know, we're just going to do something else. Maybe work on the house or do something. Yeah, right? we, got, we got tons of things we want to do. And working seven days a week, we just realized we're not getting anything else done. And we love you guys, but we gotta, we got to get on with life here. Uh, when should our puzzle piece be due? I'm thinking a week's time should be more than enough. Some people have already turned them in. My sister got it last night, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, I think, and she sent them in this morning. Wow, that's quick. I guess she didn't sleep. If she's on. Hi, Nancy, by the way. Oh, I don't know if she's on, but 
She, she couldn't get her phone to send. I said, well, here, use the new form. Okay, there's our... Rachel, let me check. Your name doesn't sound familiar in this group. I think you're in the next batch. Let me do a quick peeky, which I can do very quickly. All right. You're getting, we're getting close to being done on this, but I, I really Make quite... Make sure you are entered... I, I like this picture, you guys. I have to tell you, Ooh. I really like it. Before we get too far, I want to just want to let this dry. Make sure it's let me just put put some shadows here. See, I can wipe my brush off that way too. Next to this, there we go on this part of the glass jar here. Put this on my table like that, so it's sitting. And then I needed some something dark right here. Kind of widen up the gap here on my floor my old dirt old wooden table now again we what did we put in the back I put the purple because I thought it was nice um, in the picture there were some green leaves and stuff like that um, back here and I thought that that just it just got to be too busy by putting in the um, putting in the green. Let's see, I've lost my magenta. I didn't take it. I know, but I lost it. I've used it all up. Shirley's asking, how do I sign up for the instruction videos? You mean the step-by-step -step instruction videos? Or for the what? For the puzzles instruction videos? The puzzle videos? ones, or? What, what instruction? Right. The um, beginneracrylicartist.com will get you started. Okay, see, I wanted it dark right there on that edge. And um, let's take a little tiny sh small brush now with them. Um, this is the one of the. Communitypuzzleproject.com is how you get to the puzzle. Okay, now there's a little bit of white we're doing here. You see that? And um, now we're coming back with the, the tiny brush and seeing where we want to add some light paint. This is one of the brushes that comes in the Salvador paint set, by the way. You've got a great point on it. It's really nice. And it's not its not a complete... Um, Thank you, Steffi. Um, see? Don't need much. You just need a little bit of light where the highlight's hitting, and like right in, right right there. Let's see. I need to put that right in there like that. And there you go. I love this. I wanted to show the bear though. You guys, we have somebody asked us what happened to Wave and Water. The, the quarantine quickies happened to Wave and Water for us this month in the last couple of months, but not to worry. I want to show you what Don't we've got. Don't fret. We've got, well, we'll release a couple this month. But so what we're going to be releasing, going to back up a little bit. I am. I'm trying far. to, boss. Trying to. What, what we're going to be releasing for our Wave and Water Master Class for this. Father's Day is our rainbow trout. Under the water. Under the water. Look at that. Huh? Huh? And there's the companion piece with that. Here's our reference photo. That. Look at that. The reference photo. Did you do good with and, that? And look at that. Now, Guess what it goes with? It goes perfectly it with... It goes with the bear, who has the trout. You see? Here's the bear, and here's our trout. You see? A before and so after. So it just, uh, those are, uh, those are, if you made them the same size, they would be a very nice, uh, you know, set. If you were going to do something for Dad for Father's Day. Yes and yes. And, and then if you guys are on YouTube and you want to know what to do for Father's Day, we've got... That bulldog that we did in Quarantine Quickie that's still up, and we've got that to father and son fishing, which is a really cool video. Be good for Father's Day. But I love our rain. What we're showing in this video, which is really cool, is how to um, how to glaze your uh, rocks and how to make uh, a lot something of glazing look, in this one. Make it underwater. Lots of information on this. Really good one. Even if you don't paint, it's a, it's a must watch for the but way glazing, of water people. You know, yeah, it's a must watch. So. There you have it, you guys. I think I did. Um, I'm almost done with this. I think I. I think we kind of nailed it. 
I see something I didn't realize before, and that is, and I always tell people to watch that, and I didn't do it myself, is that the um, the cork actually is not straight up and down on the sides. No, it flares it, out. It, it flares out a bit like that. And it's raggedy. And um, Susan wants to know, how do you use the brush in the Salvador paint set? What do you mean, how do you use them? I'm using one right now. As a matter of fact. That's this one. They're ma they're mainly meant for uh, more on paper. They're they're very soft brushes. They, they I normally don't use them, but I like all their pointy ones. How's that? Ginger style of painting is more of a stab. I need a I need a stiffer brush, right? Yep. But look, they're good. They're it's, it's still. I mean, you did the, the paint was a great deal if you never got a brush, right? And it was interesting to me. Um, she contacted me because she's been watching our videos. The Salvador gal, and. She goes, um, Ginger always uses our little brushes, but she doesn't like our other ones. Why? And I explained to her why, and I told her which one she goes. She goes, oh, okay, we'll look into that. Yeah, because, of, <laughs> yeah, because. Of the, I said, hey, if you I guys come up with that. I swear, if somebody could come up with a, something that beat those angle, yeah. ruby satin silver angles, boy, I'd buy them in a New York minute. Yep. Yeah, so there you go, you guys. There's our, there's our uh, glass jar. I think we've got, um, there's a butte too. I think that's kind of came out kind of neat, you guys, don't you think so? That was sort of fun. That was just stuff. Uh, I like the purple back in there. I don't think the green would have added anything uh, to this at all. At all, at all, at all. Um, let's see, I'm just going to make this a little thinner. There you go, right like that. There you go. I'm going to use my Posca pen and sign it. Wow. Yeah, I wish I had a better piece of colored paper. What do I got here? Purple. I think the purple would look good, wouldn't it? Do I have any clean purple? Probably not. You yeah. Can... Look at that. Ah. We'll treat it lovely because we're running out of purple. Yeah, well, there you go. Look at that, you guys. That's nice, right? Something different to do. Um, Oh, you know what we didn't put on there? There's always one of these for me, right? You know what we didn't put is um, we didn't put the um, the shadow underneath the flower right here. Should I do that? We needed a little darker shadow right under here. Yeah, just to make it. Uh, the trout painting is not on YouTube. That's for our Wave and Water in the Academy people. It's not there yet. It's going to be up. Give, give John a couple of days. We just finished yeah, just, it. Just finished it. It was uploading. And we thought it would be, you know, we'd have it in time to, you know, you guys would have time to, you know, do it. I did ask her about the refill kits, and she's going to look into that. And also I talked to her about the U.K. not getting their supplies yet, and she doesn't own that one yet either. All right, so we've got our... Um, got our we got our daisies that you, you know what was that with the daisies that she loves me she loves me not right yeah well you know what I as long as I'm here right and I feel like I have to do this shall I do it yeah this flower in all fairness this flower here came up like this this petal was round like that okay it was and um, it looked a little strange not having it that way. So let's try some yellow and orange here. Yeah, I just wanted to reshape that one because it was um, it was a shame it wasn't quite Up quite snuff. what it needed to be, right? And the same thing with this. Let's just round the. As long as we're gonna do them, might as well do them how they would look better, right? Does that make sense? How they'd look better. There we go. I just the, I didn't have the, quite have the shape on this one, and I felt a little bad about it. So here we go on those. All right, let's pick a winner and winner chicken dinner for this lovely painting. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Thank you, everybody, for finding us tonight after our trials and tribulations. Unbelievable, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Oh, now we're finally getting a perfect stream. Are we? Mm hmm It's 7.05 p.m. It kicked in two minutes ago. It finally kicked in proper speed. Okay. 
337 souls are looking for this lovely painting done by the queen right here before your very eyes and we have a winner winner chicken dinner oh this is terrific wonderful wunderbar wunderbar i gotta find where this wonderful person wunderbar. is wunderbar here you guys uh, and listen again thanks very much for hanging in again thanks very much for hanging in there with us because it can be very disconcerting as you well know nothing's more frustrating than having the computers be bad. John doesn't see them as entities that are bad, but boy, I sure do. No. They have feelings. This puzzle, this, um, what is this thing? This painting is going to go to Ohio. Really? All the way to Ohio. No kidding. We, have, we, right. have, we have not had one go to Ohio in, in No, like, we have not, forever. right? That's what we ought to do is just pick a state. Then no, we can't because it's can global. Enter. You can't do that. Oh, that's true. Oh, I could if I wanted to. No, you can't. I can. I can do it on my channel. I have lots of viewers. You do, John. 1,830. I've been there forever. Winner of glass vial is... Robin Skeen. Oh, all right, Robin. Congratulations. I'm so glad that um, you got this. That's From awesome. Ohio. So this was... See, uh, Francis, if you were in Ohio. I guess so he's going in July. I think we did... Um, I think if you look if you look at this, don't you think our bottle... Look at our bottle here. Oh, I think your bottle's great. Did, don't you think we kind of got that and kind of that strange-looking little flower? And we just didn't put this green back in here. Well, it didn't make it sense just, what it you just were doing. Didn't, it just didn't go, I didn't no. think. No. We just kind of kept it simple. And um, uh, there you have it. Ha! Well, we'd like to thank everybody for participating in today's activities. We'll be back Monday at 5.30-ish. We might as well use that now. Yeah, and, and remember because this week, we've got a, I think it's a two-cookie lesson in our VLL in the Academy, by the way. Back it up for a second. This is the, um, this was an uh, Odeon, that artist in the 1800s, French artist. And that's in our, that was a release this week. It's a very, very fun lesson. I show you a simple way to, to be able to outline without having to outline, how to make a thin line without making one. Lots of good stuff in this one. Might be fun to watch even if you don't paint it. So that's in your academy, a senior academy, fine art and acrylic painting. That's this week's release. Da, 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 da. Anything else, boss? No. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Thanks for participating, and we will see you on Monday, which is not true. We don't see anybody. Bye, everyone.